Well, I'm down here, made it to the lake. And so let's jump in the water. Let's hope for some good rings today and some good jewelry. Who knows what we might find? We might find something, we might find nothing. But we'll never find anything if we don't get out there and search, right? So let's get the water. Well, good morning, boys and girls. Been up at 6, got on the road at 6.30. I've been on the road now for an hour. Got an another half hour to go. And I'm uh, headed back to a lake where in, in the last video where you saw I found those two gold rings and a real nice class ring. And uh, But I didn't get the ch a chance to cover the whole lake the last time I was there, which was about a week ago. Uh, and now I'm going back and we'll hit the areas that I did not cover. And if I got time, I'm going to go back over the areas that I did cover because it's been a week and uh, there could be a few more things that have been dropped. So uh, hopefully we're going to find a few things. And if I do, I'll put the camera on it. And I'll show it to you. So I will see you out in the water. It was getting a, a very grunty, like a like a 55, real hard grunt. And I thought it was going to be kind of one of those uh, um, kind of those fruit drinks, the little full fruit drink things, Capri Suns. And it ended up being an old timer pocket knife. Check that out. That's pretty nice. Add it to my collection. Let's keep on going. Well, I got my first decent find past that uh, after that uh, pocket knife. It's ringing up like a 57, real choppy. And uh, it's going to be an Oneida silver plated spoon ring. I've dug a couple of these that were stainless steel, but this will be the first one that is silver plated copper. So, uh, hey, that's the first ring. I'll take anything because it's been quiet for the last two hours. Just knife and this. And that's a lot of money, but that's it. Uh, so maybe it is cleaned out pretty good. We'll see. Well, it's been real quiet out here. Uh, just got that knife and that one spoon ring and some earrings and just came across a really cool uh, ring right here. It's a silver ring. It was ringing up a 90 to a 92 and it was real deep so I knew it was going to be silver. It took me a minute to get it up and I don't know if you can see it there. I'll try to do a close up on it uh, as well. But it's got uh, a scenery on it. It's kind of a, it's got a lot of writing on the inside of it too. I'll have to look at that later on. But uh, hey, that's my first good find. It's been out here since 9 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock now. I'm going in to get me some snacks and uh, hydrate. But that is a really cool looking silver ring. Never seen one with a, a kind of a outdoor design on it. And I'll look at the wrap up. We'll show you what's on the inside and, and maybe what kind of brand it is. But hey, I'll take that any day. It's the first good find. All right, maybe there's some more out here. Let's keep on going. Well, I came back out after lunch here. I got hydrated, got some energy in me, and came out here, and my first good target was ringing up a 51. Kind of a different tone. It wasn't sounding up like a nickel. And uh, and so I dug it up, and I saw the silver, and I thought maybe it was stainless at first, but the stainless are usually ringing up in the 40s. And then I looked inside. It's a titanium ring. I haven't dug a titanium ring in quite a while. But, uh, hey, I'll take a titanium. i got a silver, a titanium, and a silver-plated uh, spoon ring. So there's still rings out here, and I'm hunting the area that I really didn't hit last week when I, in my last video. But hey, that's another one. That's another good find. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I'm having 
found too much since that titanium ring. I made my way around and came back around and just worked in this shallow water, probably about uh, mid shed deep. And I was getting a 51 to the 55, sound like a pull tab, but I'm just digging everything right now. But I can look down on the ground. Can y'all see that? It's right there. And check that out. It uh, stained on this side. It's uh, I see some markings in it right there. I can't read it. Maybe it says 10K. Uh, it's got nice diamonds on it. Check that out. It's ringing up like a gold. It's in the 50s. I think it's going to be 10K. 10K will tarnish if it's been sitting in the water a long time. It looks like it's got lake stain right there. I'm hoping it's going to be a, uh, not gold-plated silver, but I hope it's going to be a 10K. I have to show it to you at the wrap-up. Once I get uh, a pair of eyes, I can see that little marking right down in there. It's right there. I can't, I can't make it out. But anyway, hey, that's ring number four for the day. And that's going to be, let's, uh, let's call that a gold and a titanium and a silver and uh, a silver-plated spoon ring. All right, I'm almost out of time. Got about an hour and 15 minutes left before they close the park, so let's keep on swinging. Well, I just went up to get a, a drink to stay hydrated. I got about an hour left before they close the park, but I checked on that ring, and it wasn't a 10K, it was a 14K ring. So I'm gonna check those diamonds, see if it's real. Uh, it kind of surprised me that it's, it's tarnished on that bottom, but it's on a red clay bottom, and it's been there for a long time. It's just sitting flat. And uh, so we're gonna double check it when we get back in, clean it up a little bit. So. That is my third 14 or second 14K out of this lake and, uh, and one 10K. And my uh, third 14K ring in the last week. And uh, I found a gold ring and a necklace. I mean, that chain. I've, I've been on a gold run here lately. So maybe there's one more. Let's see if we can get one more ring before time's up. Well, I'm out here in just uh, knee deep water getting a real solid 65 kind of a deep tone and it's a part of a, a wedding ring it's a wedding band that goes with the engagement ring it's just silver with uh, little diamonds on it so I don't know if it's a real diamond but uh, definitely is uh, my fifth ring for the day it's another silver so uh, it's thin look how thin that is all right got about 45 minutes let's keep on swinging Well, I was making my way back up over to the other side of the uh, lake, and I got a 68 to 71, and it sounded just like a tungsten ring, real jumpy, 68, 71, back and forth, back and forth, and I popped it up. Check that out. That's a gold ring with a diamond on top. That's another gold ring out here. Boy, I mean, I've been on a gold streak here lately. So I've taken 12 rings out of this lake in seven days, two visits. That's ring number six uh, today, and I was here last uh, Saturday, and I got six rings last Saturday as well. And I still haven't covered everything yet, and we're running out of time. I got 30 minutes left, so let's put that in the pocket. Let's keep on going, see if we can get one more. Well, time is up. Ended up with six rings. Six rings out of this lake last week, and uh, I'm going to head up to Dallas Metroplex uh, tomorrow. And on the way home, I'm going to hit a few lakes and uh, see what else we can come up with. So. I'm exhausted. So until then, I'll see you out in the water. Well, I've been out here five minutes and made one sweep down and come back and uh, I got a little ring here. It's ringing up a 42 to a 45. And I can't tell if it's stainless. It's showing to some diamonds in it. And it's got a marking in it, but I can't see what it is. So uh, I'll have to look at it later on when I get in the truck and I'll tell you at the wrap up. But hey, that is gonna be ring number uh, seven for this video and the first one here. So that's a good sign. It was real quiet. I didn't think there would be anything out here. And uh, then got this one signal and boom. So now I'm gonna stick around a little bit longer and and uh, see what else is there here. So let's keep swinging. Well, I'm out here about waist deep water and it's just about ready to call it quits. And I got a 42 signal, real jumpy. I thought it was gonna be a piece of, uh, like a piece of can slaw. And that's what's kind of over on this side of the lake all the time. But it ended up being a gold knot ring. Check that out. 
I can't see the marking on it, but I'll let you know a little bit later on, but definitely it's gold. And uh, so that's two small rings. It just goes to show you, even though it's quiet out here and this has probably been hunted before I got here, if you go slow and you dig all those iffy signals, this is what you get. All right, let's keep on going. I found a 8485 signal and check this out. This is a beautiful uh, sterling silver uh, turquoise ring. Uh, this is my second one like this I found. And uh, that's very pretty. Check that out. So that's like ring number 10 or 11. I don't know. I lost count on this video. I'm going to hunt here just a little bit longer and see what else we can get. And uh, if I hear get another tone, then I'll stick around. If not, I'm going to move on and call this video quits and uh, head on to the house. All right. I'm happy to get this one, so let's keep on going. Well, I'm back in, if you can't tell by my burnt face, how uh, warm it was yesterday and today. I went out Friday and went out Saturday. Had a really good day yesterday. Went back to that lake on the previous video where I found six rings and I found six more. And then I had to go to Dallas this morning to do a, a PCR test for COVID for international travel. And on my way back, I just so happened to have three lakes to go by. So the first lake was good. Second lake didn't find anything. Third lake, I found that one ring and that one little piece of necklace. And uh, but as all in all, I got to find. A, I didn't find a whole lot of stuff, but I did get a lot of rings though, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm going for. I'm trying to beat my record of 72 rings from Memorial Day to the end of September. 72 is my record. Last year, I think I got 60. The year before that, I got 71. I got close, and and now with these rings, including the toe ring. I'm at uh, 68, so I'm close, but I'm fixing to leave to go to Latvia for two weeks, so uh, I won't get, I'm going to miss two weeks, so I think I can still make it, I hope I can, so I've been on a roll lately, especially gold rings, and got a few gold rings in this video too, so let me spin you around, let me show you what I got. Alright, there's all my equipment I hunt with, and these yellow things, somebody's asking, these yellow things are floaters, in case this breaks off down in the water, this thing will float up, I also have one on my on my handle here in case um, it, that helps to keep the whole thing up floating. You can go, get those on Amazon. But here's all the trash. Typical foil and and uh, stuff. Here's all the other junk stuff. Here's all the fishing stuff. Bottle caps, aluminum caps. Only one vape pen this time. Got some big old hair bow. Look at that. That's gaudy as can be. And then all the beaver tails. You can tell I was in an older lake. You can always tell when you're digging these out. And then also all my square pull taps. And here's my finds for this week. We got one, two, three dollars and twenty-five cents in quarters, and we got dollar uh, thirty in dimes, twenty cents in nickels. We got five, ten, fifteen, twenty-one pennies. Got a couple toys this time: a shark car, helicopter. And a fire truck got a real nice case knife i thought it was an old timer earlier and uh let me get focused in but it's just a case and a couple of earrings here loop earrings and then another loop earring and a uh, leaf earring and then i got this was the last find of the day and that is a uh, that is actually marked if you can see it 925 on the back it's a silver little necklace and so here are my rings. I gotta get a junk uh, toe ring. And then I got that spoon ring, which was silver plated spoon. Then I got that, I thought it was gold, but after looking at it closer inspection, it's just a uh, gold colored, it's not real. I did get one titanium ring. I haven't gotten one of those in a while, a couple of years. Here's my silver rings. I got that silver band. And then I got that real cool looking uh, Gilbert Begay. That's his name. Uh, he's a uh, Navajo jewelry. And uh, that is really neat. And what's really neat is today, look what I found. Some more Navajo or Indian jewelry. And that is sterling silver. It's my second one that I found like that. Uh, I did get a gold ring here at that first lake. Then that was also a gold ring. That's 10 karat gold. And then this was a 14 karat gold ring. And those diamonds, my friend, are real. Every one of them are real. I put my diamond tester and that thing just went off the charts. 
and that's got weight to it too that is a nice gold ring so three more gold rings right there so that's fixing the rain on me so i need to wrap this up so there's all the trash and here's all the treasures and like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can get out lake and find and put on your tailgate and do a wrap up. The greatest treasure, what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. video give me a thumbs up and subscribe I appreciate it very much